Let's make this simple part. It will be used to push a piece of metal tube. First of all, load material into the lathe, then on the Nano ALSH4 controller, switch to G-code mode. Zero our axis, zeroing x-axis on the center line by entering half of the diameter that was cut. If we had G-code, we could already start cutting, but we don't have it, so let's write it. Instead of writing it directly, I created a special language called lathe code. With a few lines of lathe code, you can generate G-code for the entire part. First we define the stock diameter in the first line, then we define our tool, the depth of cut, and then we define sections of the part, starting with their length and then with the desired diameter. It's also possible to define cones, so we add little chamfers using the cone feature, diameter start and diameter end. In the end we add L3 line, which means length of 3, diameter 0, basically cut off operation. Now that we are happy with the 3D rendering, we click the Generate G-Code button. We can see the toolpath that the tool will travel. In the G-Code we have estimation of the runtime and the size of the working area, allowing us to position the stock in the chuck correctly. Let's copy the G-Code and go to another website to verify that G-Code makes sense. Enabling the simulation, I can see that the G-code is reasonable. All that's left is to connect controller to the computer over USB and click the send button. After quickly cleaning up the pigtail on the part, it works perfectly. I didn't use any cooling, so the part shrank once it cooled down, and now it's a smidge undersized. Next time I can either use cooling, or simply adjust the sizes by a little bit in the lathe code. In the other dimension, error is a little larger, I would attribute this to my lead screw wear. What's really awesome about lathe code is you can duplicate the part very easily just by copy-pasting. With a few key presses we have created G-code that will cut three parts, one after the other. It might not work very well in steel, but in plastic it will work great. You can use lathe code with any CNC lathe controller, but it's probably more convenient with this controller that you can order on my website.